camera angle today. New room, who dis? Earth signs. I decided to do it this way with the elements right now until energy moves with the zodiac signs. Sometimes I read too many readings and then there aren't any storylines to pick up anymore. <laughs> and I've done 89 readings since this channel started August 2nd, 2022. So I've been working my ass off. Hasselhoff my ass off so gotta pick up new energy whoopsies okay here we go first signs air signs what's what to come in hair font there you are coming in loud and clear with the four of pentacles oyster learning how to control your money Perhaps, or you've learned something and it's going to make you money. Anything else? Animals? No. Okay. I didn't think so. Let's see. Let's do these ones. Yes. Something about... learning or being taught how to how to look after your money how to balance your money how to keep it in your life how to look for it how to grow it how to sustain it hmm sun in reverse with death Is somebody gonna die and you're gonna be happy? You're, you're, I don't think you're gonna be happy about it. Cause I can hear, oh, happy day. And I'm like, are you gonna be happy about this then? But at the same time, it's sudden reverse. So I'm like, I don't really know if you're gonna be happy about this. A teacher dies? Perhaps because the devil You know, you could, oh, I just heard a honk when I said that in my head. You could know an addict that might OD. Somebody that's, this message would be like for somebody who's really strung out. Like when you, when you look at this card in order to get into that position, I'd almost, the, the way that I'm seeing this drug addict would be, I don't know if you've ever seen The Shield or not, but it's a, it was, I don't know if it was HBO. I think it was an HBO show way back in the day. And uh, they go visit this, this guy's father because the kid is missing. So they go see his father and he has like nine or 10 needles sticking out of his body. He has managed, and every time he gets high, he just leaves the needle there, right? So this, like, strung out man has, like, a bunch of needles in his arm. Like, that would be this death. Like, this person, addict, addiction has just completely taken them over. Which is, like, why the hair font four pentacles? What the heck does that have to do with a strung out death? Maybe you have to pay for it. And you gotta call the priest. And you have to fork out all the money for it. Now I'm getting death at a funeral. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but then Chris Rock gets stuck with the whole bill for the, wed for the wedding. I've been calling funerals, weddings, 
dyslexic y because I'm dyslexic, so I change words into other words because I know the truth. So I'll say something like funeral in my head, and I call it a wedding because when you die, you just marry death. You go into a completely different state, different dimension, different everything. So somebody seriously might die and, and you get stuck with the having to hire the priest and pay for the whole darn tootin' thing. Freaking nine of swords. You might have some anxiety over this already that you've got to flip the bill for everything. And like, honestly, I watched my stepmother bitch and bitch and bitch every time she had to bury somebody, some junkie in her family. And I'd be like, seriously, you could do it for so cheap. Like, why do you like the person's dead? Why do you gotta go cheap like this? Like, really? I mean, there's ugh, it's the way she acted when somebody died. It was just disgusting. Or you feel like someone's going to die near you. And it's giving you a lot of anxiety. And now I'm thinking of one of my neighbors. And he's here out of some program. Shelter program. And my landlord let him in. And uh, I recently saw him. And he is now prostituting to get money. He doesn't have any money. And he has these boils underneath his skin all of a sudden and I'm like the way the uh, the heroin addicts come out of his apartment like I can see them they, they walk out like like they're transed right out you know like they're just like fucking one sleeve still up and uh I think his sister has been here for quite a few days now trying to get him to get sober and get cleaned up because the road he's going down he's going to die very quick if he continues to use and abuse and and he's using needles bad and if he continues to do this he's going to die and now i'm getting him in my head like you know this could be your brother this could be a family member of yours and it is like it is not a happy time like it's not like you're hoping for this person to die i think it's the exact opposite to be honest oh oh look at the six of cups with the five of cups like, this is gonna, this is really sad because this, the Six of Cups is something from your past. Or you might find out that somebody from your past um, is not doing so good and is on like the break of death due to some type of addiction. Let's see what this addiction is all about. What's this devil all about, please? Mm. Okay, so now I'm getting one thing, and I got girl talk. So now I'm getting, like, maybe they might be really strung off of, um psychiatrist medicine like they they could have a shrink and he's been prescribing a lot of medication to this person because like and this could be this could be like look at paradise and lightning right away like this could be the type of drug that puts you in a state and it it takes effect really quick it takes effect really really quick and this this person is single now I'm getting, like, living in the moment, having fun, being single, having uh, time with friends, moving on. This might be a girl, too. And now I'm getting that intervention. Remember that show, Intervention? Like, you might have been having to do, wanting to do an intervention with this person for a really long time. And there's a reason for it. Because they're going down a really, really, really fast, slippery slope. And if they don't get a hold of it, it's going to take over their life. Which is what the devil does. Takes over your life. And it brings you to such an anxiety state that you, you begin to believe that people are watching you. You begin to believe that your phone is being tapped and, and people around the corner are going to come and shoot you. I mean, that's like 
you know, a drug dealer sitting and looking out the window, you know, with a gun, keep thinking that someone's going to break into their house. Like it gets a lot, you know, anxiety comes with a lot of things because it's not, it's not as if your anxiety brings about things that could never happen. Anxiety brings about things that actually possibly could happen, which is why we do have anxiety. It's there and, it, and it's given to us as a tool for a reason so we can use it. So then we know when something's messed up. So then we know when, when, when something's being triggered and we don't feel good all of a sudden, you know? Anyways, I don't really know what to say about this. Like, this is really, this reading is really leaving me for words because, I mean, this could also be something that you, you had no idea because the person, you just saw the person a month ago and they were fine. Check up on people you love. Check up on people that you worry about. Check up on them because surprise it or not, people can lie on the phone. They can lie over text messages, but what can't they lie about when you show up to their house and you see if they're okay? Show up to this person's house and see if they're okay. Because they're not. So. Anyways, I really hope this helps air. This was an intense reading, so. With love.